What up YouTube, we've got ourselves a new thing here. This is the Razer Raiju Gaming Esports Controller. And Razer's always made expensive, luxury sort of items designed for those pro gamers out there as well. I'm not a pro gamer, I'm a casual gamer. But, you know, when I, whenever I get time to play any games, I want to play the games in the best experience possible. I'm definitely like trying out a new tech all the time. So, it looks pretty premium. We've got a little... Uh, Tag at the top, the little, the little uh, instead of like plastic, you got sells this little material like sort of tag, so you know it's going to be expensive. And um, typically, these retail for about between 100 to 150 dollars, pounds, whatever you might say. The tool on the back says it's got a full program, fully programmable buttons on the back as well for personalization, uh, control layouts. You got ergonomical shape and weight. Uh, chosen by top esports athletes you got yourself some quick control panels here as well and you can do some quick sort of stuff there as well so go ahead and open this box up i already removed some of the the seals and stuff already because i ended up doing this video and forgetting i didn't hit the record button so i'm doing this all over again you got ourselves this thing here which is some stickers some really stickers uh got ourselves this and so that that was actually on the top so a little welcome thing here congratulations from uh, for buying this product um, from the CEO co-founder Ming Lang Tan I've uh, got ourselves this um, instruction booklet not bad uh, and then you got ourselves this as a controller it comes in this nice looking decent decent carrying case not bad pretty strong so if you put it in your back or uh, your rucksack or your uh, wherever your bag is and um, it should be taken got ourselves this lengthy cable I did actually uh, check out this how long this cable was and it's branded with the Razer logo there as well and it's shaped to fit exactly the controller itself and it's uh, braided so it's um, quite a resilient cable not cheap sort of cable so decent they've actually used to be a decent cable when you normally buy a product this expensive especially a controller this expensive you want to make sure that the cable the accessories that you give you are going to be premium as well this is a controller it comes in this little thing where you can actually put the cable inside here as well so if you guys wanna you're gonna travel with this thing and if, uh, if you're especially if you're if you're with esports and you wanna take your controller around, you've always got your cable to hand there so it just like snugly fits into there as well. Um and again, there's a lot of controllers on the market. I've got another controller I also want to check out as well, which was the Revolution Pro Controller, and that's an official license product. Definitely check that video out shortly as well. This is the controller, it does come with a screwdriver, so this is a torque screwdriver right here. So you can actually uh, uh, unscrew the back i believe yep the ua unscrews and there's this hole here so these on the back here are the buttons so you've got this little new buttons up top here you've got the m1 and the m2 and you've got this m4 and the m3 buttons here um i did point out a fact about these buttons as well because these are a bit funny i would have actually preferred if these like paddles like like for example the scuff controller i prefer the paddles the buttons are okay, but I just feel like if you are playing and you're going to be pressing hard on these paddles, on these little uh, these little buttons, the last thing you're going to do is for these to break. But they seem okay. Uh, little release buttons here as well, so these little things lock, and you can actually release these buttons here as well. So um, little lock, little buttons here tells you which way they unlock. So you just, little, just do that, do that, and it unlocks. Um, the back is textured, so you've got this little textured sort of grip on the back and uh, the top is plastic so this is a lot similar it's exactly the same actually to an xbox one controller um the same sort of feel actually it looks very very it's like they've just literally just copied the xbox one controller these look identical to the xbox one controller um and i would have i would have preferred if these actually weren't like the xbox one controller a lot of times i've seen problems with the xbox one controller where these things actually break and they're not not the strongest things in the world so it's not the best design choice. I would have actually preferred if these were actually a map like feel for just when you're playing, the last thing you're gonna do is slip your fingers over these things. You wanna have a, like a grip feel up top as well. So you are when you're pressing each individual button, it has a tactile sort of feel to it. So you know your fingers gonna stay put, especially long gaming sessions. And if you are someone who sweats a lot as well or perspirates, you don't wanna have these all greasy and especially the glossy sort of stuff. I hate gloss. Especially why do manufacturers even use gloss? I have no idea. The fun over here is though this is good, it's actually textured and when you actually feel it in your controller, it's a nice sort of feel. So if you've got small hands, maybe a problem because I've got okay size hands, I've got the biggest hands, but these I probably preferred if these were more spread out, maybe a bit more, so you can actually just do a bit more. But I mean the positioning is okay. Uh, you've got the uh, the touch 
touchpad up here. I'm not sure if this is actually a navigation thing. It's actually fully touched, but it should be, especially for this sort of product. Got the option to share button over here as well, and the direction buttons. And the direction buttons feel a bit stiff, uh, not the best I've seen. And also you've got the uh, the little uh, the buttons as well, your, your X circle, square and triangle which have a nice little clicking feel to them as well so and you also got your ps button in the middle here as well at the bottom here this is your control thing so you've got a 3.5 millimeter jack you've got yourself the volume the um, your mute and all the other buttons there as well the thumb grips are textured which are pretty good but the downside is as well if you are the common problem that you get get with any ps4 controller these things always wear and i would have would have preferred if when you got this sort of controller these could have been removed so you can actually like some sort of locking system um, I've still got one of my MLG controllers, um, the Major League Gaming controller for the PS3, which phys physically has a locking sort of thing. You push down, it clicks, and you can just remove these as well. Would have preferred like a concave sort of thing instead of these, but these are still okay. Um, I would also be adding some gameplay to this video as well, so you guys can check out the gameplay, see exactly how this controller works. Um, so far, not a bad looking controller. I would have, I would have weighed extremely high. There is some flaws I can see here. Especially with the buttons, um, the way that these are, and I'm not sure about this as well. If you are pressing these buttons and you're going to hit in like this M, maybe this M4, sorry, M1 and M2 sort of things, I'm not sure how they're going to work, but I can see getting the layout maybe like you're using these buttons here, you're using your little fingers here as well, using your um, your index fingers and your middle fingers as well, and using that as well. So I can, I can see how it's going to work. Definitely check out the gameplay as well. Hope you enjoyed this so far. This has been Ace. Like, subscribe. Peace out.